Hello and welcome back. Today I'm just going to show you the start of a new, of the next project uh, that's to do with the quad. Um, this is the flight case I've got that will actually fit the uh, diatone in without the props on. And basically I want to make this into a really nice looking FPV ground station. So uh, I'm just going to show you the screen that I've got and then I'm going to just test the screen out because you'll see it's from an old laptop and I'll just have just give you a quick explanation now of what we're going to do so basically you open up the case it's like a a hard, a hard plastic case with foam inserts so get rid of that so basically the quad these you can this foam is all little squares you can pick out the pieces that you want to uh, to what you want so you can recess it and then oh, well the quad will fit in the bottom layer and what happens on the top layer is you can take this foam out as well and you can replace it with this thinner stuff so that you've got some space in the top now what I think I'm going to do is remove that and I'm going to get this screen which I think is 13 inch, 13 inch uh, wide screen. I'm going to make something to sit on these four, these little standoffs here, and then make another couple at the bottom. Basically, I'm going to make something to mount the screen either centrally or up to the left hand side. So I've got some space to put my receiver in here, receiver here, and then battery, and then probably the control board. That's all going to be hidden. But you'll so you'll only see the screen just floating there. Um, I think it's going to be a really good build. Um, I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to video and put on YouTube yet. I suppose it depends uh, if I get some comments on the video asking if you want to see it all. Then I'll then I'll try record as much as possible. Um, if not, I will. I'll just show you updates throughout the build. So. Let me get rid of this and we'll uh, give the screen a test and I'll show you how I do that. Right then here we are, so we've got a control board here for the screen. So basically this just uh, has various, various inputs, so you've got VGA, HDMI, coax and you've got a USB for updating the software on the board and you've just got a normal aerial input. So basically this just does away with the laptop. Um, so you just get a pure monitor basically. So this board I got off eBay um, I think it was £30. The screen I got out of an old laptop which was an e-machine screen. Well, what you have to do is you have to go on the back here and look at the model number and the version. I'll just put the link on the uh, on, at the bottom of the video but basically you have to search eBay or search wherever you want, just use Google, put that model in and what you should find, or put any model of any screen that you've got and what you should hopefully find is the control board for it. From what I can see, basically I think panels are only made uh, by a few makers basically, so I think that what they've done is they've made all the different firmwares for this board to almost cover most LCDs. So. All I did was I just took a I took a chance and just ripped the LCD panel out of the laptop and then just basically searched searched around until I found it. Um, when you do buy the board, they do say, "Can you tell us the uh, the make of the LCD screen?" I think they might configure it for you, but I'm not 100% sure. But but we'll see what happens when we uh, when we plug mine in. So basically, it's about it's two connections. And that's it, we should be good to go, so let's give this a go. If you turn it over, I've already removed the old cable out of here, but basically I just had a quick look, and basically this way, so there's the gold connectors that you can see at the top there, they face towards you, I believe, yeah. So basically you just take it and then you've got a connector in the top corner here, basically gently make sure you get it in position properly and then press it in 
make sure I've got even pressure right across that's that so that's the first connection done this kept, this all came with it, everything came with it apart from obviously the screen uh, it's even got a controller for the backlight and that's what we're going to connect in next so I'm going to flip it back over and you've got a little plug here this this controls the backlight power so basically this is like a high voltage driver I think this plug can only go in one way around, yeah it looks like it can plug that in that's about it so I'll just get my power supply and then I'll we'll be back to switch on. Here you've got some controls, so basically I think these are just standard power menu, volume up and down channel and switching between TV and AV. Um, you've got a little module here that has the power light on it and it has the infrared receiver for the for the controller. This is though this board takes 12 volts, which is quite good because I'll run it off 3S in my case. But I've just for now I've just got a wall power supply, 12 volts, center center pin is positive. So this is just how it's come from the factory. I think there's a bit of a jumper set in here for um the control wall lo logic of the screen. It came with set at 3.3. You can change it to 5 or to 12. I'm just gonna leave it at 3.3 because if it doesn't work then hopefully it won't do any damage so we'll plug it in and give it a go see what happens so I've just got the red light on there which is good hopefully we're in standby mode, let's try to switch it on it's a power button, oh it's on looks like we're on uh, it's going to menu. Oh, looks like we're in the wrong language here. Let's have a look. Menu. Do I really know what all this means? Have a look. Something to do with TV, music. Let's try to look for language. This looks like a settings menu. It's got like a, a Windows sign up here. So, something. We'll try this top one. Oh, we might be there. Go left. Find English. Oops, select. Ah, there we go. So we're in right screen. Blue screen off, on. Oh, that's good. So that it's good for FPV. So that you don't lose your, you don't go blue screen when you, uh, when you lose your signal a bit. So, oh, very good. So, We'll uh, exit that, we'll see if we can get a video signal on. So I've just got my GoPro over here with the old connector, with the old just colour connector, we'll just plug in the yellow because that's all we need to do a video. So let's see if we can get something up, so input, we'll try that. AV, A up, look at that. There you go, cracking setup. So that was uh, that's my soldering station. Um, that was a free screen, a thirty pound board. I've got a diversity receiver coming in the uh, in the post, which cost me another thirty pounds. A couple of antennas. Um, so all in all. Uh, I think it's cost me about a hundred pounds, including the case that it's all going to go in. So that compared to a a seven-inch uh, diversity receiver screen, uh, which is about one hundred and twenty pounds, I think it's good value for money, given that the screen's so much bigger. Let's just see if we can adjust the zoom. Sixteen by nine. Oh no, it's a bit stretched. Zoom two. Zoom two looked okay. Just wait for it to go off. Oh no, we've lost the we've lost the battery icon at the top left. I think we've lost. Yeah, we've lost the the video signal at the top top left too. So I'll have to go back to sixteen by nine. But look, it can do four by three as well if you've got a different 
uh, camera if you're using a different camera on the actual FPV setup but all in all I'm very happy with that so when I next uh, do a bit more of the build I'll uh, upload my progress and I'll see you later